In the previous episode, we took Remtoil Castle from Vlandia, conquered Maranoth, and lost Pendrick Castle, but destroyed the besieging army before they could enter the castle. There should be... yeah, there's nobody there. So they just popped in 50 militia at the last second, but that's fine. And we'll get it before there's another tick. Uh, do we send? Probably should send. It would be a little embarrassing to lose more troops on a siege like this compared to the, the 500 or 400 unit battle we just won, so... We'll just do a quick assault. Let's blast people with this two-handed mace. Yeah, we're gonna take these walls by yourself. Nobody can stop us. Oh yeah, get out of here. Nice. These walls are ours. They probably got a few random stragglers. Yeah, these guys, these are peasants. I saw, yeah, we lost a couple of people, oddly enough. I don't know what we lost them to, but maybe archers? Oh, here we go. There's a worthy opponent. <laughs> One tap him in the kneecap. I guess if you can't stand, you can't really fight. Yeah, we still lost three, but you know, that's life. But we gained 12, so we got more than we lost there. That's good. It looks like they keep our previous arrangement here. Let's see if they still have... No, Governor got booted. Let's put him back in. And again, we'll take all the garrison, recruit the two troops that they'll allow us, and we are being sieged at Flintog. We gotta get back there right right away. I don't know how long it's been going on, so... Oh, it looks like somebody... Oh, Ochevold. Yeah, he, he destroyed him. Very nice. That saves us a little bit of time. All right, how are we looking here? So we've got... Hendrick and Dunglanus. So we've got our front line here. I guess Flintog is technically still close to the front line. I think what we should probably do is focus on taking these two castles. Carpanseth is a pretty juicy target, though. Oh, man. They took a castle here. That's not good. Yeah, we're going to have to go to war with... That's so far away, though. How did they even go there? <laughs> Look how far that is. Holy crap. That's several days ride. I don't understand that. But, I mean, there's no way they hold that, then, unless... They just sue for peace right away. That's kind of weird. Yeah, we're, we're getting a little thin on some of these guys. Yeah, we can't give too many troops because that's going to force us to get rid of our, our prisoners. But maybe we can go to some of the local places. See if they've got any troops we can we can have. No, they're all, they've are all they been sucked dry. And this guy decided to walk right through us. Now this is going to take out the militia. We don't really want to fight the militia. Can we get far enough away? Nope, still fighting him. I think he's going to outrun us. There we go. Okay, so we can do it. 14. Nice. No losses. I like that. Let's check out Pendrake. Well, our, our troops are recruiting a, a few before we get there. Oh, Dunglanus. We don't want to lose that. Let's go back there right away. Probably going to be a, a bigger army just because the militia replenishes so much faster. Yeah, almost 300. We'll take care of that. Oh, look at our reinforcements are here too. Nice. They're going to get stomped. All right, let's, let's let the AI control the infantry and the archers. Let's take the cav on a nice flank. We haven't done that in quite a while. Especially not since we've had the... I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. Just literally covering the whole field. All right, let's... Let's reorganize a little bit, make them a little thin. We don't want this line to be too thick. There it goes. Oh, and there's their cav. Let's bring him around kind of wide in the back and then we'll we'll try and drag it along their archers without having them yeah perfect actually their infantry went up so we can go straight through now right, we're dragging our line straight through these guys actually those are ours nice so they actually went after their cab all right and their cab are starting to go after archers i see a few dead bodies here that's not acceptable yeah, there's two right here, so let's let's try and focus on getting this guy out of here. Alright, well you're probably dead. 
Right, let's go ahead and give them the charge command. Kind of hard to tell who's who, but good thing there's no friendly fire. He's gonna get out. Can't get to him in time. Nice. 23 losses. Probably lost a few more than I think we should have, but we were messing around with our cav. I have a feeling a lot of the people that, that died were cav. Yeah, I'm seeing a few cav in here. Like I said, we, we were a little bit more aggressive than we normally would have been, but that's fine. Dunglantis is safe for now. Yeah, look at the militia. 1,200. Wow. I, I'm curious to see if, if they would have been able to take that, actually. I'm kind of curious. You know what we can do is let's give the castles and keep the towns because it seems like the ai does stupid things and even with the, all these policies they still manage to lose so let's get rid of flintog and remtoil flintog let's give it to batania trash remtoil we'll give that to batania trash as well so that's those two we will keep the town oh pendrake you know they should be able to handle four because they're just castles or we could give it to empire trash mm, should have given remtoil to him it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Let's just do, yeah, three. I think three is a good limit for everybody. And then anything we take after this, we could probably hire one more person because we got Drimor, Helios, Nivyansk, Aster, Lanikhan, and Abkomer. So two more companions, and then we can handle these two towns on our own. Let's go take Karbansith. Actually, you know what we should do is go to a couple of our villages and see. Hopefully they haven't been raided. Oh, they're getting attacked. Okay, so these are our companion parties. Oh, here's, this is going to be a big battle. Yeah, look at that. That's a lot. Okay, this is a big battle. 751. I mean, we're still pretty far in the lead, but a lot of our... Oh, and actually the Batanians are in there too. So they're teaming up. Vlandia wants peace. That's not going to happen. Yeah, we, we've got a big numbers advantage, but half of our numbers we won't even be able to use. Look at this. There's no way Cav is going to be effective in this. I'm trying to think how we can set this up. We just have so much cavalry. I kind of wish, I, I guess we could dismount them and just send them in with the infantry. Yeah, let's get them lined up. That's about as good as it's going to do. Let's get these guys off their horses that are in the infantry squads. And let's kind of survey the land, see what they're planning on doing. If they're pushing into us, that would be ideal, but I highly doubt that's what's going to happen. And let's go ahead and hold fire. We don't want to waste arrows. Actually, that might be them shooting at us, but that's fine. Now, I don't see a whole lot of benefit to going straight down the middle. I mean, they we have more units than they do, but man, that's 290 infantry and 135 archers is, is a pretty pretty good amount. So Now, they are sending cav. I don't know if that's because they don't like us scouting it out or if they want to actually charge. Let's go back to our line, see what they do. Yeah, they're okay. They just wanted to chase us out. So why don't we do this? Maybe we can bait them into our line. Infantry! I like the idea of having a couple infantry squads over here. Archers behind them to support. So it's going to look like this. Two infantry. Soldiers. Our main archer line. Victory. And then we're going to send group three and group five. Uh, group three and group five straight down the middle. Yeah, look at that. They're going to they're going to charge right at our infantry. That'll be really nice. We could we should be able to take advantage of that. Now, where do our infantry go? I don't want them going on the flank. I want them somewhat more towards the middle. Baldur got a kill. Nice. Yeah, some I think somewhere in this area is good. So let's set one up here. Start him out here by the well. Alright, we're getting charged. Not like they're going to do anything, but they're charging. We'll set the other infantry group up right here. This little alleyway. And the cav... Let's have the cav support. They're going to be on this far right flank. We'll, we'll let you live for now. We, uh, except for your horse. Your horse ain't going nowhere. And right in the anus again. The old... <laughs> the old Viking tactic of stabbing the horse in the anus. Alright, let's... Should be able to... Get these guys to bugger off. Alright, how are we looking? 
Group three is in position. Yeah, group three is in position now. Group four is getting there. They are sending Cav into him. So that's the ideal situation. I think our left flank we can move up now safely. Just keep stabbing this horse so it goes down. Alright, let's get back to the flank. We need to move these guys up. Ooh, no, Astro went down. Alright, let's move one and two. Alright, group two I want in this little indentation, whatever you want to call it. Group one I want to cut off the wall, that that steep part of the hill. Archers can came back a little bit behind, but not too far behind. Yeah, take out more cav. They're just throwing their cav. They're just throwing them away. Yeah, and our cav are holding their ground, it looks like. Nice. Good job, boys. Alright, group three, let's move up. Oh, interesting. So that's their main line right there. So if we can hold... Let's go shield wall. And if they can hold right here, if they try and push us, even though we're vastly outnumbered right here, we have, I think, the superior, uh, the superior quality. And group four, we can move over a little bit. I don't know what that guy's doing, but we'll deal with him later. All right, here we go. So group four can hang out right here. I think they're pushing in, actually, so we may need to get, get back there. Okay, so they are moving in. Nice. All right, we're going to tell both group one and group two infantry to head this way. I don't know where we'll put them, but they need to be moving this way now. Immediately. All right, so where are they? Group one and group two. Nice. Actually, group one and group two should come over here and deal with these archers. So let's tell group one the front side, group two the back side. All right, group three is holding their own. Group four needs to push the flank. So we need group four to come in right here and hold this flank. We're going to shield wall them up. Group six, I'm going to have... I think uh, group six is our cab. Let's have them destroy these archers as well, because they're starting to retreat. Oh man, group two got destroyed. How did they lose so many troops? Ouch. Alright, so... The one's shield wall. Nope, they're not shield wall. They're two shield wall. Oh, that's right. That's the wrong one. Sorry. Yeah, group three and group four shield wall. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, group one and group two. Man, they're they're low on troops. All right, group one and group two. We're gonna give them the charge command. I'm not sure why they lost so many. Their cab were mostly dealt with. Alright, and we can, I think, safely give cavalry the charge command. And hopefully that'll give them the courage to go after these archers and not get stuck in this massive... This massive... <laughs> I don't know what to call this. This is like a meat... A meat grinder, I guess. Alright, let's get on foot and do what we do best. Hitting people in the ankles. Oh, that cav saved his life. Oh, sorry. That's our own horse. Alright, they're turning to face us for some reason. Alright, can we get these guys? So if we can break the this... I think we can get the two groups to link up. And we'll have a much better... Much better time. Give him the old kick. 
There we go. Got him switching weapons. Rookie mistake. Here we go. Some two-handers were taken out. Ooh, good stab. I tried to beat him to it. That's our guy. Okay. That's our guy too. Okay, so they're retreating. Or maybe not retreating, but they are falling back. falling back to but this is kind of a tough a tricky fight because you got to keep moving but you want to keep getting kills because, yeah it's like there's too many moving parts oh they're retreating okay so they were retreating back to the reinforcements it looked like but here's the reinforcement man we took heavy losses here and i i kind of had a feeling that was going to happen because of the layout a battle like this really cuts down the advantage of your numbers makes it much more much more even for the this side that's got less and even though it relied heavily on number on uh, quality we still took losses all right they're starting to retreat again so the reinforcements aren't really hanging out Let's see how many we can take out before they get to the edge, because I'm sure this is going to be two or three battles. Alright, that's it. I think that's pretty much GG. Damage report. Let's see it. Alright, didn't lose any nobles. That's good. We lost 117 troops, though. Man, that's... That's a lot for a battle like this. We should have easily taken these guys out. We could have backed up and fought them in the open field, but then we probably wouldn't have gotten even half of these guys. So I, I think the risk was worth it. We kind of had to do it. We released some people, but they're back. Yeah, these are our people. So we're getting good relation game with them. Wow, a little surprised here. No troops to take. They don't have anybody to recruit, but let's see if they'll give us... Yeah, they'll give us 12. We will force, force the recruitment. We could do that with some of these other ones. Let's uh, let's try it out. We are starting to run kind of low. Yeah, 11 troops. Pretty good. A lot of them are Fians. And another one. 10. 7 Fians, though. They're all, all high tier, so this is actually a pretty good way to get troops. All right, let's fill up some of our guys that are... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's get this guy back in. All right, let's give him some more troops. I think these are wives. I'm not sure why they're down here, but let's, uh, let's throw them back up with the rest. And yeah, we'll try to transfer all the garbage units over. Keep the high tier with us. Because we have the all the perks. Keeping them alive. Lower wages. Stuff like that. But he's topped out. Now we're, we're at about 100. So let's, let's see if we can collect a few more. So we did these three. We could go to Drumwar. It's not too far. Check it out. Yeah, no, we're not doing peace with anybody. Yeah, they got quite a few people here. Hopefully they give it... Yeah, they're going to give it up. 12 people. Nice. Don't really want the cab, but we'll take him for now. Yeah, we're definitely not doing peace, and we're not letting Ostrich get married. Now, what does Drumore Castle look like? Basically nothing here. So maybe we should take this first. Just do a quick siege. Yeah, we just need to rush the gates. Or rush rush the ladders, try and get to the gates as soon as we can. We'll swipe at some people, but we're not here to get kills. We're here to get past these guys. Oh, it's going to be hard to get down past these guys. Alright, how do we do that? Can we squeeze by? Oh, they're not going to let us by. Oh, this is annoying. Well, I guess we're stabbing people. Aim for the crotch. The unguarded crotch. All 
All right, here we go. Can we get by now? Oh, no. Nope. As soon as we go in... <laughs> as soon as we go in, everybody wants to come up. Like, they weren't doing it a minute ago. Now they want to... All right, here we go. Now can we... Still a lot of guys. No, we're going to get sandwiched. All right, chill out, chill out. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, we're going to get sandwiched in here. Okay, there we go. We're out, finally. Now, the question is... Can we even open this door? Or are these guys gonna just guard it? I will. They're facing the wrong way. We'll just knock out some of these guards. Oh, nice. Get them on the ground. All right, we're taking a lot of, a lot of shots. Where, 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 where are you shooting me from? Holy crap, dude! This is so annoying. Let's try and get some cover here, maybe. I don't know. All right. We'll go open that. We're going to open this one. All right, there we go. Uh, not that it matters. Looks like our guys are already here. So, we wasted all that time. Huge waste of time. Right, but it looks like the siege is going pretty well otherwise. So, I don't know, maybe in some small way we provided a distraction? I don't know. They still have about a third of their troops left. Nope, our guy... <laughs> they already swept the backfield, man. There's not much left for us, though. There's still some Fians up there. A little scary. Alright, what's going on? How come you guys aren't going up? Let's see what's going on here. Alright, well, we'll get up there and do it. Like we stab the, stab the feet. There we go. Get his kneecap. There you go. Aim for the kneecap. They can't stand. Nice. <laughs> Hopefully we can convert some of these guys too. I would love to have a lot of fiends. Alright, that's it. GG. 39 kills, or 39 deaths. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's about what we, a little less than what we recruited. But we do get three back. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually let's do this. Let's take all the prisoners. We'll take all the fiends. And these guys are are tier six as well. I wonder how good they are. So 150 bow skill, 150 athletics. What does that look like compared to the fiend? 175. Yeah, they're not as good. And their their bow is is not as good either. 200 pound. The other one is 180. Yeah, I think let's just keep it to the fiends. Oh, what about these guys? Tier six. Yeah, I don't I don't know if they're good or not. That's okay. We'll, we'll stick to the Fians. Let's recruit what's available now. We do want to drop... Let's see. We don't want any companions or nobles. So let's get rid of all these. That's all we got there. Take our garrison troops back. We'll appoint a governor. And what we should probably start doing is just leaving it on trained militia. Building these buildings are going to really help any. But we do need as many militias as we can right now. They may not be that good, but they will help delay. Give us time to get there and help defend. Oh yeah, let's make sure. Yeah, no, nothing stupid like high tax. Yeah, that should be good. All right, they're going to give troops. We got to go back in though. I, I just realized we still have way too many prisoners. Yeah, 600. Let's talk to the, the headmen and we'll offer slaves. Basically everybody except for our Fian champions. Well, or regular, I guess they got rid of the champions. So just Fians. Yeah, look at everybody. Pretty much everybody's below 100 now. So what we're going to do is lock all the tier 6 units. We'll keep them here. We want to have all the high, highest ones that we can get because they need to be the, the ones that survive battle. So we'll have the, our surgeon skill apply for that. We can fill that one up. We can probably do two of these. And that puts us down to 319. Yeah, we, we do pretty desperately need to hire some people. And yeah, no peace. We did hit leadership 250. So we're going to go with party size limit increase by plus 10. And that's a party leader perk. And then also clan leader plus one. It's only, it's only going to give us party size increase for that one specific one, but we will get a plus one clan party so we can have another 150 or, or so troops. We'll take that. Yeah, let's, why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and take out Carbanseth. We, we really need to consolidate a bit more here. So we take Drumore, 
Carbenseth and Aster. And we have all of these. It'll be hard for them to go past. And these are really close to each other. It'll be pretty easy to defend all four, even without a, a garrison in any of them. All right, so let's siege it down. Now, there's 418 militia here, but they do have quite a few nobles. And so they're going to have probably really good really good units. Now, Drimor Castle is being sieged. I'm not too concerned about it. Let's go ahead and build up. We probably want to take the walls down for this one. This is going to be one of the tougher ones. But it's it's pretty easy for us to gain siege engine dominance. We already got it. And we just got to build a couple trebuchets, and then we'll be in good shape. Now, let's keep an eye on Drimor. It's only 87 units, but it is going to take them a very long time to get there. And we'll start beating on these walls. H2. I don't know if this is our kid or somebody else's kid. But I don't care what you do. One wall's down. We got one more to go and then we can go in. Yeah, probably not our kid because back to back. The walls are cracked. Let's check out this last siege engine and then uh, middle of the day we can go. Actually, is there anybody? Yeah, we can we can hire nine Fians. Ooh, that's a lot. All right, let's do it. Let's see how good these breaches are. Man, look at this. It is so hard to get in this place. Really well defended. All right, we're in though. I think we might stay mounted for this because they're pretty far spread out. We should be able to get some good damage on them. Yeah. Let's keep roaming, take out their archers. Assuming we can aim. Which is sometimes easier said than done. Alright, we got these guys cleared out. Let's get these, these low tier in the back here. That little gateway is tiny. It's going to be hard for them to get through it. Oops. Right, horse got stuck. You know what we could do is open the gate. That might help. Oh, somebody's coming here. Let's defend him. He should be able to get the gate for us. Yeah, do it. Get the other one. Okay, didn't want to get the other one. Our one brave soul. I don't know how he got in here, but we need to make sure he lives. Nice, good hit. These guys are gonna try and close. There we go. Keep this open for business, please. Now, that might be a little bit too much. These guys in the back are kind of annoying me. Let's go deal with them again. Like a swarm of gnats. They just won't leave you alone. more and then we got them out. Oh, did they already break through? Yep. There comes the red tide. There we go. There's all the archers. Man, they just completely stormed through this place. I'm curious what the breach on this side looked like. Because the other side was just a tunnel. I didn't feel like it was a breach. Yeah, it's a legit breach. I gotta go look at that again. I didn't really have time to look at it because I was too busy not getting killed. Oh, what is this guy doing out here? Okay, so it looks like it is an actual breach. You're having a bad day, aren't you? <laughs> but this is the breach, it looks like. Yeah, because there was a passageway to get from that door. Okay, so they, they added these logs, I guess. Kind of interesting and then i mean it's a breach but it's not a good one because look at this still a big choke point really cool map i like it oh that has got to be painful for them we only lost 29 troops here that's a really good siege for us we'll take three and let's see do they have any any fiends they do only one as always show mercy let's go ahead and go dungeon first and we'll take everybody from the prison get rid of only the guys we don't 
really want to mess with. Pull the garrison. We don't want to give up that many troops. I think it looks like it's set up pretty well here. We do need to give a few troops away, though. Let's go ahead and go the, this low guy. Yeah, that's the center. And we're every time we take a town, we are getting a plus five. So leader of the masses has given us plus 55 troops. So it's it's pretty good, at least when you're doing this style. And we're going to go ahead and give some slaves here. Yeah, pretty much everybody. 533. We'll keep the Fians. 